Hi, welcome to Council Update. My name is Marcy Schatz and I'm the Deputy City Manager of the City of Naperville, standing in for our City Manager Doug Krieger this week for Council Update. The purpose of this program is to let you know, residents and businesses of Naperville, of upcoming items on the next City Council agenda, which will be held on February 19th. One important note for those of you who are interested in following the Water Street project is that that project will not be heard on February 19th, but instead will be heard on March 5th. The developer continues to work on their plans, and that project will be considered at that point in time. One of the really most important things that's on the agenda on February 19th is the city's capital improvement program. In order for a project to be considered as part of a capital project, it needs to be $25,000 in value, it needs to have a useful life, of uh, a multiple year useful life, and it needs to end up in an asset for the city. So this includes our roads, our utility infrastructure, traffic signals, and street lights. This year's capital improvement program is a $46 million program, which includes a number of significant projects. One includes $11.6 million of road maintenance. So all of the work that we do to resurface the streets, replace the curbs and gutters, um, and, and uh, crack fill all of the streets is included in this program. In addition, an exciting program in the Department of Public Works is the first year of our conversion project to change out our street lights from high pressure sodium to LED technology. This project will increase efficiency, reduce our energy costs, and reduce maintenance costs over the, the four year period that will take to us, for us to convert the program. A couple of other projects of note is the 95th Street Bridge, which will connect uh, 95th Street and Naperville Plainfield Road down to Boughton Road in Bolingbrook, a project which we have undertaken with Will County and the City of Bolingbrook, and also significant upgrades to the Springbrook Wastewater Treatment Plant. <laughs> Another important item on the February 19th City Council agenda, especially to commuters and those traveling down into the City of Chicago, is the recommendation to convert 56 parking spaces, or permit parking spaces at the Route 59 station to daily fee spaces. Out of the Route 59 train station, we have over 1,800 parking spaces on the city side of the train station. 1100, about 1,100 of those are permit spaces. As we've been tracking our data over the last couple of months and couple of years, we've seen less usage of the permit spaces, but continued high use of the daily fee spaces. As we took a look at this, we've made a recommendation to convert 56 of these permit spaces over to daily fee, providing a greater service to our customers who either don't have a permit or don't go downtown frequently enough to hold a permit. Uh, based on our data, we don't believe that this will impact our permit holders at all as we've seen over 200 vacant spaces um, in the permit side of the lot and again, continued high use of the daily fee spaces. For those of you who want to use the Route 59 train station, please know that there, are no, there is no wait list for uh, the parking permits out at that station. And for those of you who just go downtown every once in a while, these additional 56 daily fee parking spaces should provide you a great opportunity to get a parking space at the Route 59 station. The final item I'd like to highlight for the February 19th City Council meeting is the second year of our Emerald Ash Borer Treatment Program. Last year the city treated over 16,000 trees at a cost of approximately $475,000 of, of ash trees in the city parkways. This is the second year of that treatment. As part, as, as part of the effort on the Emerald Ash Borer Treatment Process, we went through an inspection process and found that 94% of our trees showed minor or no EAB damage. We saw that 5% had moderate damage and 1% of those trees required removal. Again, this is the second year of our program, and what we've done is we've made one modification this year for our larger scale trees that are between 18 to 20 inches in diameter and are changing the treatment program because we've, saw, we've seen some great effects from uh, the triage program that was used to treat over the 20 inch trees. This year, we anticipate treating 14,000 trees, and the recommendation on the City Council agenda on February 19th is to make an award to a couple of tree treatment companies for a total of $355,000. We're excited about the impact that we've made against the emerald ash borer and the protection of our urban forest. Thank you for watching Council Update. Uh, please tune in to the City Council meeting on February 19th at 7 p.m. on WCNC. If you'd like more information about the other items on the agenda, you can also visit the City of Naperville's website at www.naperville.il.us. Thank you.